Hmm. Okay, uh, so let's finish off what we have left from the column and tree tower, then we can continue with column uh, tower. So uh, in the tree tower, you know, throughout the whole analysis, we basically made some assumptions, right? First assumption is when the liquid, they uh, make contact with the upcoming gas, they reach the same temperature. This can be a reasonable assumption uh, if the, you know, both the vapor and the, the, the gas, the, the liquid phase has good thermal conductivity. Then the second assumption we made is equilibrium at each stage. This is typically uh, not reasonable because uh, in order to reach equilibrium, it really takes a, a lot of residence time for the liquid to be sufficiently mixed with the gas. Uh, but depending on the you know, tree design, you may not have enough residence, residence, residence time to allow for the you know, mixing. Uh, to account for that, uh, we introduce a concept that's called uh, stage efficiency, right? Basically, stage efficiency is a ratio of the theoretical equilibrium stages, right? This is the one we computed based on the graphical method. And then, uh, when you, and then actually, you can do experiment to figure out what's the real number of equilibrium stages to, to, to achieve the desired separation outcome, right? So in that scenario, then you can compute a ratio that's a number of theoretical uh, equilibrium stages divided by the actual stages that give you the stage efficiency. And this stage efficiency depends on, you know, basically it tells us how close your system is to equilibrium, right? That depends on the tree design geometry that also depends on the properties of the, of the gas and the, and, the, and the fluid phase and composition of the um, upcoming and downcoming uh, stream. Um, so when you design the actual, like a trade tower, right? So you start from a theoretical analysis, you get a, a theoretical number of uh, equilibrium stages. Then when you actually put that trade tower in, into implementation, you have to always consider the stage efficiency uh, and uh, just adjust the, the, <clears throat> the, the number of stages with, with you know, stage efficiency. And uh, then how do we get the stage efficiency? There are a couple of ways to do, to do that. And basically like three ways, you know, uh, one is to, you know, basically using uh, experimental data from either industry columns or from like scale up laboratories. Or you can use some empirical uh, efficiency equations, right? These are basically um, people compiled uh, lots of data with different types of trade towers and they found uh, some correlations between the stage efficiency with some you know, fluid properties. Uh, one of them is this, this one, in which it shows the overall stage efficiency as a function of this dimensionist, uh, dimensionist number. And uh, this dimensionist number depends on the key value, molecular weight of the liquid absorbance. The mu is the viscosity and the rho is the density, right? as you can see here. As this dimensionist number, increases, you have a reducing uh, stage